morning. It's the 8th. It's just gone 8 o'clock. 8th of the 8th. Now, 8th of August at 8 in the morning. What are the chances of that? <coughs> anyway, so... Um, what's I say? So, at the moment, I'm still in bed. This bed is actually really comfortable. Don't worry, it's dead in it. It's really, really comfy bed. <coughs> Um, the flat itself is really, really nice. The only snag we need to work on, two snags, are how to get the oven working, because apparently you have to set the clock on it, but there isn't one. And the second one is the heating. The uh, program's slightly off, so it's not coming on at all. So it just needs the clock set on that one, that's fine. Now, you could probably hear in the background, obviously, Jen's in the bathroom. You can probably hear it was quite windy. It has been like that since yesterday. Got quite a chin. It has been like this since yesterday. I'm about to show you why. Because we are really close to the coast. This is what it looks like right now. So my car is down there, which is fine, which is good. But it is so damn windy. Apparently, I may just found out where is it. Uh, this thing here is called the Old Pier, and supposedly it was built at some point in like 1880, 1890 or something. <coughs> but it's basically just crumbling into the sea, like um, uh, is it East Pier in Brighton? We got a bit closer. <coughs> So, uh, yeah, it looks really, really creepy, but I can see, well, it's completely derelict, as you can imagine, but it does look like a scene from a bloody, you know, apocalypse film. And last night, that house behind me, here, so this is the, it's a town house, so their living room's here. The guy was just sitting up here, he's sitting in there, just watching us. So, I mean, I was standing here before I went to bed. I think it was just weird. But today, we are the only point we're going outside is to go get off shopping after we decide what we're going to get. Because <coughs> we did the kind of brief shop this last time. And now we know roughly where we're going. So, actually, I'm just going to. I know this is a bit pointless and you can guess what it's like, but. <coughs> Yeah, needless to say, it's really, really windy. So hopefully the weather will pick up. And if it goes sunny, then we're in for an absolute treat. If it doesn't, then we're still in somewhere nice. I mean, we're going to Bath and Bristol and Longleat and somewhere else, I can't remember, during the week. So <coughs> that'll be a nice little treat when we get to it. But today is just about doing as little as possible. So this is a little side note. It's currently quarter to one. And I was just looking out the window. Because obviously earlier the tide was out. Now it's come back in. And bear in mind, it's gone from all there. All the way back there. I don't know how... That's got to be at least... Uh, I'm going to say 500 metres. Give or take. That's a feral distance for it to come back. I mean, one thing I, the other thing is, well, is that you can now kind of see that place that is called, uh, what's it, Burke, Burke Dean. But I'm going to have a look at that properly later on today. But from what I have, I can't remember if I wrote this last night. It's supposedly an old pier built in the 1880, 1890. I think I did mention this. But um, it's just falling into sea. Now that, however, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's just another pier or like a, comp like a separate island uh, complex, maybe. Obviously you've got the Grand Pier behind it, but we are going to have a look at that at some point. Um, maybe today, not quite sure. Depends on how the weather lets up because it wasn't meant to rain, but it's kind of going on and off. 
And last night I noticed this, this house down here. They've, uh, there were a couple of guys having, having a smoke outside. And then just heard this almighty bang. But I don't know if it was the weather or if it was something else. And um, suddenly the door was just left open all night. So there was just water coming out of it. I'm thinking, poor people, but why didn't you close the door? Who knows? Uh, we fixed the heating. <clears throat> so it turns out that the clock was just set on the wrong time. So it was about an hour and a bit behind. So we sorted that. And the oven, I think I've tweaked. So we're going to go and get our shopping now and then. Come back and then go from there. So he decided to go for a walk along the beach. Remember the name of it? There's the sea over there, and the lawn ends up somewhere around here. So we've just ended up on the Grand Pier in uh, Western and you can see that it was opened in 2010, rebuilt. rebuilt in 2010. This is the kind of like arcade type thing, so it's on two floors, so it's like all the main sort of attraction rides on the ground and then you've got the arcade up top. But we have sun. That time too. Yeah, I know. So we're going to see, go inside and see what is what. Yeah, so you got, oh that's that arm thing, so you got all the rides down here, and then you've got all the uh, track, the arcades upstairs, more to follow.
if you get stuck, you have to press it. Infinite mirrors, infinite timelines. Back in the week. Any matter? Okay. Um, basically, when we got down to the front, which is. Uh, we were getting donuts, and the lady was basically a swarm of by a huge peck of seagulls. They stole all their donuts for her and her kids. So when I was buying mine, I bought her five. And then the fuckers changed after me whilst I was eating my donuts. Show you the uh, the view. We're gonna go and do this for a bit, and then we're gonna head back. So we have gotten back from the beach, and the sun has decided to grace us with its presence. As you can see, all the last day it's been really horrid, but now. It looks like this. Really, really good weather. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still windy, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. But it has picked up in temperature and not how nice it is. And you actually see it. Uh, there was a slight incident with us walking back. So, I can show you. So, where the, if you can kind of see it, uh, where the tide is coming at the moment, we were walking behind the pier because at the time the tide was out and uh, there are some patches that look like they're stable and they're really not and we both went kind of sunk a bit so both our trainers that we just recently bought them uh, it was if from I think it was like Friday Thursday Friday something like that were absolutely capered in sand wet sand so I've had to wash them both and dry them out, so that's that. But um, no, I mean it's gorgeous weather. If the wind could calm down just a little bit, it would be absolutely perfect weather. It'd be really, really good. But tomorrow's another day. We're going to Longley, I think. Longley or yeah, Longley tomorrow, then Bath on Tuesday. So with that. I'm going to sign off tonight and we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Morning, it's the 9th, it's about half 8. And uh, I have a stinking cold. And it's kicked in since last night because I took a little bit of to hopefully get over it. 
He's injured doing the job, but we'll see what, how I turn out today, but it's not the end of the world. So, today we're going to Longleat Safari, and this is what the weather looks like on one side, and that's what it looks like on the other. So this one should be interesting, meet up with my, our nieces, and uh, their mum and dad today. So, that'll be a nice little surprise, because I don't think the girls know we're coming. Um, then, uh, apparently it's meant to be sort of on and off rain, but we don't know if that's changed. We haven't checked yet. This was last night we looked. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I think we're going to have dinner out tonight. Possibly, not sure yet. See how we go. We might get something around here and bring it back, etc., etc. So we're at a long lead in about half an hour, but I've got to have breakfast, finish my COVID test, and have my next random lamb sit to help me <coughs> not have this chronically sore throat and neck and head. So I'll see you at Longleat. So we're now at Longleat Safari Park and we've seen, um, we're just doing the drive so it's just going to be a bit in and out but we've just seen all the giraffes and uh, a pelican. Yeah. And flamingos over in the corner. Yeah. Now I don't know if those are mooses or caribou in the back, but we shall we shall see. We shall see. So, we have finished that long thing, about six. Yeah. About six. <coughs> it's ten past nine. We're no, about, it was about seven, I think. Was it? Yeah. Next to close to six. Yeah, but by the time Laura had got off the kids, I was trying not to use that. Yeah. yeah so, um, we're on our way back. We're about 40 minutes away. Um, so, we've done long safari and. I've never been there before, and we did drive around the actual World Cup game reserve bit. <coughs> a monkey stole a piece of my car, so I've got to fix that when I get home. <coughs> um, we got out with uh, the in-laws, my um, sister, and um, a monkey took a pee and a dump on their car. I felt sorry for them, but I did laugh. And I did video it, just to mock them. So that's that. And uh, then we've been trying to forage some food, but everywhere up in, was it Trompton? Trompton? No, Trowbridge. Trowbridge. They wouldn't let anyone in, even though there was loads of space. So we ended up at McDonald's. So it is what it is. Um, it works. Yeah, it does the job. Um, so tomorrow is our wedding anniversary, so we're going to Bath. Yeah, we're going to the Thermos Bar. <coughs> Hopefully the weather will be there because we've been rained on by like, thunderstorm like heavy. Orlando heavy. Like what five times? Yeah. Two. Yeah, it's a real pain in the bar, right? Like, so um we'll see how the weather goes with that and then <coughs> uh, we will go from there. So yeah. Should be a nice day tomorrow. So, Morning, it's the 10th, it's about half eight, and it's our wedding anniversary today. So, that's something to remember. Um, today, we're going to Bath for the Thermos Spa, and then we're going to come back and do stuff around Weston. I've just opened the curtains, I've just noticed this huge blob of sunshine. I don't know if you can see it from where I am. But we're going to go back to the pier over there and uh, have, spend some time in there playing the games and whatnot. Last night we got back about. Yeah, last night we got back about 10 o'clock. 
so I was really, really tired after, and then once I had a shower and everything, it was about half ten, I think we were in bed by about quarter to do eleven, it was just a spark out, just couldn't hold on, couldn't stay awake, if you can tell my voice is a bit croaky, I've had this cold and it seems to have gone through quite quick because I'm down in the sip like it's no one's business. So, hopefully today's weather is going to stay nice whilst we're out. And uh, hopefully if we do walk along the, be the uh, beach bit, we won't sink. So I might have to invest in some wellies or something. But we'll see about that. So with that, I'm going to get ready and then we're going to go off. See you in Bath. So we've just come out of the Thermae Spa in Bath, which is this wonderful building. And I couldn't do any video recording in there because it's not allowed. But they've had a massive re uh, renovate and it is even better than it was previously. I thoroughly recommend it. It was like 37 quid for two hours. And uh, quite relaxed right now, wouldn't you say, love? Yeah, so I'm going to show you my uh, blood pressure tank. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to go off on the hunt for food and maybe another coronavirus vaccine. Get, my, get a third. No, you never know. Um, go get some food and then uh, I'll tell you what, the weather has stayed really nice. Yeah, look. Which is which we're quite glad about. So go hunt down some munchies and then go back to Weston, I guess, after having a walk around Bath. Here we are outside Bath Abbey. Which I can't get the whole thing in, but as you can imagine. Big building. Uh, we can't go in because. Let's see. There were two. Yeah, we can't. Huh? I said there were two. There were two. Oh. Yes, yeah, so we can't get inside because you have to pay for it and it's really busy right well, that's now. That's the Roman baths. Yeah, and then this building here is the Roman baths. And it's a place called Fancy That of London, mm -hmm. which is shut. Oh well. And then, we and then we're going to just wander around. So you will see a few snippets of bath. Oh goody, we're back in another sweet shop. Yeah, I know. Um, behind you. Love. Yeah. Mm. So, we left Bath at 10 to 3. It's now 5 to 5. It's taken us that flipping long to get back because our sat nav decided to take us on its shortest route which turned out to be twice as long and it basically sucks balls so if you discount the having to go to Tesco real quick that took about five minutes off yeah. We still got time to go down to the beach and all that sort of stuff because we're literally next to it. It's on my left right now, and uh, I can't show it you because I'm driving. I will video it and show you a bit in a minute. But we're hoping to get back down here and go and sort of enjoy it for a couple of hours, and then come back and do dinner or get something or something like that. But I tell you what. What it takes is just the tiniest piece of sun, and there are so many people here. Good. Yeah, which is a good thing, because obviously you beforehand. Oh. Down there, there's a ramp next to the Grand Pier, and that's where I got chased by the bloody seagulls. So, the bastards are hanging around ready. Right, now I need both hands to drive, so see you in a bit. But it's still really sunny. As you can see, this is the clear beach. Most of the coast over there. And um, I just decided on what to do because today is our nine year old wedding anniversary. But the place we wanted to go to, they're fully booked until Thursday, so we're going. 
and we are on our way to Wookie Hole which is for once a short a nice short drive so dinner last night didn't go as planned but we've, we've sorted that out for tomorrow instead um where are we going? Oh, there are they. so uh, I've never been to Wookie Hole so I know pretty much next to nothing about it. I went when I was about, so Lucy's age? So five, so really five six. Possibly younger. So the theory is we're going to go and do that today and then it may be a full day, maybe a half day, we're not quite sure. Um, and then tomorrow, now we're debating about this because we leave on Saturday and we're definitely not doing anything on Friday. We've made certain of that. However, we're debating whether or not to go to Bristol tomorrow because we need you know, a day just to do not that much. However, one thing I am checking up is the fact that if it is all um, motorway, which I think it is, well, I'll rephrase that, about 80% of it is all motorway or main road rather than back road the whole lot. Then I'm debating whether or not it's worth actually going. But it also depends on the weather. Because right now it's cloudy but it's not cold. It's quite reasonable. I, don't, I think it's somewhere around sort of 17, 18, give or take. I don't know. So, um, it would be, you know, depending on tomorrow, and the thing is, I'm getting over this cold. Jen's pretty much fought it off quick, which is good. I don't need both of us having it. Um, and then in the evening we're going to Il, Il Michelangelo's for our wedding anniversary dinner. So... Mercijos. Yeah, Mercijos, we call them. So... It's kind of like 50-50 at the moment. Let's see how that takes up. Turn left on Upper New Road. Right, so next stop is Wookie Hole, which is meant to be in about 15 minutes. Ready? Join them. Taking it. In Wookie Hole, we have pirates, Dark Lord of the Sith, and Chewie. That well known connection. Yes. So we're inside the caves at Wookie Hole. Will we get out? Probably. I expect so. Oh, 
Oh, that feels weird. Yeah, it does, That's what she says. Yep. <laughs> We've found the name for Evie Francis. It's cold in here as I was expecting. Huh? It's not as cold in here as I expected. No. But to be fair, we are still relatively high up. Inside the five and a half meters. Let's <laughs> crouch down for this bit. It's like a scene from Goonies. Never seen that. You've never seen Goonies? No. Oh god, how did I know you? <laughs> So, we've just finished that wiki hole, it's about quarter past one, and uh, the cave part was okay, but we were talking about this and we've come to the conclusion that, I mean this is my first time being here so I can't read comment as much, but we don't think it's, well, the wife doesn't think it's aged well, because, yeah, they weren't, there were certain things on because of obviously rollers stopping everything, um, no, I don't think anything was stopped because of the radar. Well, what else could it be? Yeah. I don't think they do it anymore. Yeah. So we're doing, um, was it cheese tasting, which wasn't that on. That didn't happen. They were doing paper making, which wasn't on. Um, they had a big shop that wasn't open. By the pools. Um, all in all, I mean, now that I've been, it'd be like, well, yeah, I can say you know, I've been there now, but I won't necessarily rush back. Yeah. But as Jen pointed out, you know, how often do you go into a cave? And it's kind of like, well, I've been around the in-law's house. You know which in-law I'm talking about. Either way, it's my family, right? <laughs> One of them's kind of like, we spent loads of money and it's still really messy. Anyway. So, Wookie Hole is me at best. So, we debate what to do because we obviously we've left early. So, um, is it worth going to um, Cheddar Gorge? But we decided against that because it's just a gorge. Um, no, not me. And the other one was, what was it called? Cleveland. I think so. Cleveland, supposedly it meant to have like a pier on there. So we were debating about that. All I know is I just don't want to do the route back. I just did. The route I did to get up here because one part of it is just single file traffic and it really does not look inviting. So we will see where we end up next. We took a slightly wrong turn and ended up in Cheddar Gorge. Which is... Quite so famous. If I'm honest. Someone didn't tell me. Don't get me wrong, it's impressive. I don't quite know why. <coughs> so we didn't decide to go to Breen, and after our slight detour through Cheddar Gorge, which completely um, And we're going down to the beach again, but we're going to walk around a bit more than normal. Than we are, I that. A bit more than we have so far. Because we're actually about two hours ahead of where we were the last time. I don't we'll find out if there's a donkey there. There was a donkey there. There was a donkey there. 
and we've just seen another pulley cat. So, yeah. So after spending a few hours in the theme park behind us, pier, well, pier park, and walking across the beaches, so we did that one, maybe the opposite side, we just really just realised, so, obviously the tide will come in, but I thought it would only come up to about sort of here, that line up there, that light line, is where the water stops, so all that from there all the way back there, will suddenly just get full of water, sea, hey, and about 8 o'clock tonight now, at the moment it's quarter past 6, so, it's not it's making its way back in, you can just about make it out. But it is manic to know that you know all this will be underwater in less than two hours. But I suppose that's the way of the world, that's how things happen. You know, one thing needs to happen for something else to drain away, I guess. So I'm gonna go home and have dinner and then uh I don't know, see what happens after that. Morning, it's the twelfth, it's about twenty to nine. I haven't a whisper because Jane's asleep and I have no intention of waking her up. So today, weather-wise, it looks like this. Don't get me wrong, it's not sunbathing weather, but it's pretty decent at the moment. I think it's somewhere around sort of 17-ish. So the plan at the moment is I've got a phone call at half nine I have to take and then after that um, as long as we're back here tonight by about half five or six ish absolutely six o'clock latest uh, we're going out for our anniversary dinner mm -hmm. we're going out for our anniversary dinner so um, let's head down the road to like a five minute walk so we're going to do that, so we're thinking of going to Bristol today, because tomorrow we're not doing anything. As you know, I tell you, like, we're not going anywhere, like major, like driving wise. I think the only place we're going to is sort of, um, sort of around Western. And I think we may only have to do a very short drive over to Breen, which is over there. But that apparently isn't, it's like a 10 minute drive. So that I don't mind. Um, I was trying to work out how much, how many miles we've done so far, and it's about 700 and something. So I reckon easily a thousand by the time we get back in 10 days. So that's 100 miles a day. Um, today we're going, if we do go, which we probably will, to Bristol, it'll be uh, Camera Obscura, um, something called. Um, we are science or something like that. Um, it's like well, what it sounds like, unfortunately, as you can gather. And then uh, it'll just be going around and do a bit of shopping. And then, uh, like I said, we come home, get washed, get changed, and all that sort of stuff. Got to put a wash on before we go. And then um, go and have dinner, and then come back, and then go from there, I guess. So. This will be the last bit of our sort of main trip out on our holiday. Um, and then on, like I said, Friday we're doing that. We'll do food shop prep anyway, which we've almost finished anyhow. And then um, pack up all the bits and bobs, which won't take long. Um, and then on Saturday, we've got to just obviously get our stuff out of the car. Out out here into the car and go but we're not going straight home we're going to a place called the super mare about quarter past ten for breakfast because it's a hungry horse place i haven't been to one in years and i was watching beard meets food and he uh, did this challenge where he had all five of their kind of new items and there's one in particular called the sausageness which is a one meter long sausage sandwich and I really want to have a try of it so I'm going to get that it is 9 quid but if it's like then yeah I'll be, I'll be prepared to give it a good stab so and then we go home 
and then goes all the stuff up there and then go and get Spark and that would be that and luckily because we've done UK holiday I don't have to do any washing or actually no I tell her I have to do one load of washing with everything else we've all done here which has been a real hand for us <coughs> um, so it'll just be a case of just need ironing and then that's it so it's a big chunk of it done already so I'm quite happy about that as you can see and I'm going to shave so I think I need to get a new head for my shaver but that's not expensive so I'm going to see something in the distance I haven't got my glasses on so with that I'm going to go and wake Jen up about half an hour and go from it. we'll see you in Bristol if we go oh I think we will This is us travelling at slow motion, I don't know what speed rate. <laughs> Go press that button. So we've just finished We Are The Curious and it's actually pretty good, it's like a mixture of the science museum and a little bit of natural history kind of put one but more compressed. I just came outside, that's on all these kids, which is random. But, um, yeah, so we're going to head back and find something to eat and uh, see what mischief we can get into. So we're now back from Bristol and having been there twice, it's okay, mm. but it's 
nothing really to shout about. Although I don't live there, so you know, obviously different type of opinion. Blah blah blah. So it's currently twenty to six. It's still a spell. What an hour to get back, give or take. So yeah, traffic. yeah. So we're gonna do that, and then about ten past seven, we're gonna leave. Let's go and get to our reservation. Um, of which we shall eat much Italian and then feel horrid on the way back, but be worth it. Um, I think we were continuing going for a walk, but I think we might have to leave that till tomorrow. Depends on what time we get out, but no, in us it'll be half seven, sit down, eight o'clock, done. We do not go for a long time for dinner anywhere. I don't know why. Uh, all in all, oh, and the weather's perked up again, as you can see. So we're going to go over there tomorrow, which is Bring, apparently. And then we'll just drive around that. And then come back and then just wander around and just get ready before we go home on Saturday. Um, that's about it, really. So, might see... Might do a quick video in the restaurant tonight. Might not. I don't know. But right now, I'm going to go do the rubbish. So, we will see. Oh, before I forget. Um, we found this um, this chilli sauce place in Bristol. It was like a market. And there were four really good ones I wanted to get. But I only picked up two of them. One is this. And the other one. That's for Nick, my brother and his wife. And then this is for my mate. Now, he claims that he had um, the Carolina Reaper at least six times, but I don't believe him. Well, I do and I don't believe him. So I'm doing that more to challenge him, really, if he can get away with it. So, if I get a text from him saying I'm dying, then I know I've done my job right. If I don't, then I need to step up my game. Yeah, And I need to step up my game. So, we will see. Morning. It's um, Friday the 13th. Ooh. It's about 20 to 11. And I've not had a good night. Because uh, at about 20 past 4 this morning, I woke up and it was roasting in the front room, well, in the, in the flat. And you know when you just get like a really dry throat and you're like, wait a minute, this is really wrong. So I got up, I literally took off my, because I normally sleep in like a t-shirt and my boxes. Um, so I literally took off my t-shirt and I was lying there, I was just absolutely capering like I had a fever. And uh, I've just had some breakfast as well, I'm moving my mouth around. <clears throat> and uh, it was getting, I was just absolutely roasting. So what I ended up having to do in our bedroom, there's two small windows and then you got like a, um, the, balcony door but I couldn't open the balcony because obviously it weighed Jen up so I literally just stood there by the window trying to cool down and that kind of helped and then I went and got a drink and as I was walking back by that door where are we? by that door is the there is the um, thermostat and it was saying 25 but the thing is I don't know how to work it because well to be fair I've no not really needed to and I was thinking, you know, I'm just going to have to stand by the window for a little bit. And I did, and I cooled down. But when I woke up this morning <laughs> about 9 o'clock, it was to the sound of the uh, rain. It was so heavy that because I had to leave the windows wide open, I mean, the weather looks like that right now. And it just pelted it down. I mean, you can see on the roofs just how heavy. And that was after about two minutes. So, today is our last full day. We go home tomorrow. Um, so, we are still going to go over to Breen, which is over there, I think, and see what's around there, and then just poodle around. And finally, we're going to go, we're going to walk over, I might walk over there in a minute, because I just need to get dressed, and um, see what actually is over there, because it's been 
annoying me, if, if I'm honest. Um, because we've spent all of our time over on the left side of the island, where all the main map, all that sort of side. But we've very, I think we've only been over to that bit once, where that old pier is. So I'm kind of curious as to see what's over there. So like I said, I might go and get dressed in a minute, and then go and do that. Now, one thing I have got to do tonight, well, we've got to do tonight, is we're going to pack and then put all the, um, the suitcase in the car tonight, rather than tomorrow, because we've got to be out of here by about 11. But we have, sh we have a booking for quarter past 10 for breakfast at the supermarket, which is a hungry horse. Because I've been dying to try it for a while. Well, since I saw the video from Man of Beat, sorry, Beard Meets Food. Um, so we're going to do that, but then we have to tidy up the flat. So there's things like, you know, strip, we have to strip the bed, do the rubbish, and um, wash up anything that we've used. It won't take long. But it's all the little fiddly things that are going to take the time. So I'd rather get the case and that sort of big bit out of the way, and then we can just get on and just do like little bits and then go like for instance uh, the bits I just said and finally clear this table um, so that's that and then I've got a 165 mile trip back home I reckon it's going to take about three hours but we're considering stopping off in Reading we're not sure yet depends on what's there to do just to break it up a little bit, but I might see how I feel because if I just want to get back, then I might just put your foot down, and just leave it, and just go. But again, we'll see how it goes. Um, overall, of this flat, location-wise, cannot fault it. It's really great. On the days the weather has been brilliantly blue. The views from here are absolutely stunning. Like just looking at here when it was sunny yesterday, it was just brilliant. Um, the only two gripes, and they are very very small gripes to point out actually, three actually, um, and they're all very very cheap to fix. So one of them is this rack. Just get rid of this draining rack because it just doesn't work. It's the wrong size and shape and well, they out. They need some new pots and pans because they are so badly used that they're really badly burnt on the bottom. So every time you cook with them, they're burnt. There's the um, like really strong burning smell, and also like the handles are really knackered. So they just need replacing. So that's not expensive. And I know this can't be done, but it'd be handy if it could. Is the pressure in the shower? The shower itself is pretty good. They could do with just being a little bit stronger or changing the shower head. It's just one of those two things. But that's it. Everything else is perfectly spot on. Like plenty of light coming in here. I mean we've we're drying our washing there because it's next to a radiator and it's next to a warm spot, so and this room is so big it doesn't get in the way. We haven't had the telly on, so that doesn't really bother us. Probably may actually turn it on tonight, not sure. Uh, aside from that, that's it really. So I would rec this is um, Dorville House, I think it's called. Uh, this is flat eleven. So yeah, it's all been very very quiet in here. That's about it. Yeah, no real issues. I never used the oven by the way, so um, I never worked out how it was needed to be used. So I did everything on the top. Because that's what I tend to do. But that's about it, really. So I'm going to get dressed and then see what trouble I can get myself into. So we'll see you later. So I decided to venture out for a little bit just to see what, as I said. Now, apparently, this is the oldest pier in the UK. And it's screwed. The world is, well, weather is destroying it quicker than it can be rebuilt. And it said most of it has already fallen into the sea. The only bit that's still in use, if you can see it, is that red bit. And apparently
find this for the RNLI, but I highly doubt even they're going to use it anymore. Just can't get to it really. Because by about lunchtime, all this will be completely dry land. But it looks creepy as sin. Uh, yeah, so we're actually. Yeah, so we're. That's down. That's the island, that's that bit, I think. Yeah, that's this. Um, and if you're interested in it, uh, what are we, August? These are the details for the tide timing tables. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly look that around there. I'll pause here for a second. Okay, so this is it up close. I'd say it's about two, maybe three hundred meters minimum out. Well, uh, it's broken up into the main part over there, and then there's the side pipe on the right. The whole thing is perfect. If you try and get up there, it says, and I quote, you will fall in, which is really helpful. I mean, it's just rust and rot. Just on my way back, and I've just found this set of stairs that lead from the upper concourse to this little sort of observation platform, which is fine. Nothing out of the ordinary here, you know, just railed and see. Then I noticed, uh, okay, then I noticed it's got this little bit here. Now I'm going to take this bit very carefully because I don't fancy dying today. But that's literally it down there. Nothing to stop you from walking in. I mean, when the tide goes out, then that's a different story, but I have a feeling that this bit doesn't go out. I may have been wrong earlier. So, needless to say, this is pretty much just useless something that I've been wanting to look into since we've been here and that is how do people who live on the island get across? Well as it turns out there are two ways. One is over there which is like their main road because that bit is this as far as this bit fills up because this is a lake literally. and then there's this way. Now out of the two I know which one I'm going to pick and it most certainly isn't this one because, well, it's to say it's, um, it's 20 past 11, that's still full of water, that's not going to drain out for at least a few hours, easily, and even then, it's still going to uh, be treacherous to go across that, because, well, you've still got the ocean. I'm going to go venture around that once again. So on my walk, I have been round to the other pier, which is behind that, that corner house. I've walked all the way around the front. That's the RNLI shop. That's the hotel that we turned right up. So the one behind it, on that kind of tower on the right, is our block. But you can actually just about see our, our front room. Temporary front room. But then, um, one thing I've noticed, I always, in the time I've been here, I haven't really kind of believed it. People actually live on this island. So, for instance, the part I'm on now, uh, it looks like you can't go any further. But then there's this block of flats, so there are people in them. But then I thought they were abandoned because of just where it is. But then this part on the opposite side is a cafe. It says apartments four and five are up behind me. I haven't been around the other side yet, I'm about to. But I honest to God thought it was just a man-made island that had suddenly just been abandoned because of our friend Rona or bad marketing prices or you know, any number of things. 
But no, actually, people are still living here. So, fair play to them, but at the same time, what in the hell were you thinking? So let's go see what the opposite side looks like. So I've just got around to the side. It is literally just, that's the block I couldn't walk any further. This, I don't know what it is. But then you've got another calf here. Then there's a calf there. And then you've just got a little kind of garden. Well, I want to say memorial, I'm not sure. Coronation Promenade. Originally created in celebration of the coronation in 53, reopened by the Queen in 2007, Nightstone Island. So, if I want to look up on that, here you go, but here's what it looks like. So, that's that. The things you learn about history. So it turns out I was slightly wrong, you can walk around, that was just a fence to split off this bottom half. I just had a rather interesting chat with a local, an Albanian guy who came over here when he was 16, lived in London for about 10-ish years, and then he's moved down here with the wife and miss and the kids for the past 20. And he was saying that the, oh, excuse me, this bit drains on and off about at least twice a day. I mean, you can already see there's a, a difference. Like that line to where the water line is now, that's a difference of 10 minutes. And uh, he was saying that it's so much nicer down here than living in somewhere like London because you've just got the open space. However, you know, you do have to be a bit careful, which is understandable. But I can kind of understand what he means. He was saying things like, um, you know, if you want to have somewhere nice, you know, you can go to many places. But then, if you just want to be relaxed, then coming to somewhere like this is quite good. Because on a day when the weather, like it was just last night, about sort of four-ish, yeah, bright blue sunny day. Yeah, if you can get a day like that down here, and very little wind, like, like a heat wave, as it were, then you're actually laughing, you know, if you've got a business down here, you're going to actually break it in one day. But on a day like today, I don't think you're going to struggle, but obviously, you know, you're only going to get really the local people who are worried about weather and stuff. But, I'm going to go back and So, sorry. We went to Brain and then came straight back out of Brain because there's nothing there. It's just a caravan place, really. Yeah, it's caravans, dogging sites. You said dogging sites? Yeah, just now. And um, an overpriced car park for a, for a beach. So it's not really worth going there. I mean, if you live there and you know, you're. If you like caravan parks, you probably yeah. like it. Or if you live uh, near the beach and you're dogs and you want to take them for a walk, yeah, perfect place to take them because of miles, you know, a couple of miles of beach and their dogs can just run off the energy and you know, go into the sea and do whatever dogs do. Perfect. But if you came down here expecting to see anything great, you're really going to be disappointed. Um, but that bit I've shown you many times is just caravan parks, static caravan parks, now, but as well. But at least we know now. Yeah, so we're going back to Western, our safe place, and we're going to the pier, and we're basically going to eat our way around it because you know reasons. And because we're going home tomorrow. In a quarter yeah. of a mile at East Brent roundabout, take the first exit onto Bridgewater Road A370. And the other thing is, well, we're going to go and try a couple of places that have been recommended. So, these will include the um, On the Beach Chippy um, Donuts, obviously. And. Uh, it's not near seagulls. Yeah, not. And um, there was some. And we've got to go and get Jen some shoes, but that's about it. So, we'll see you back in Western Super. 
Um, so I thought we were about to go into Pleasant City. No, we're near Pleasant We're going through East Brent. And here we go. So we're on the Skyview Eye, as it were, and try view this as one spin in as many directions as I can. That's how far we went. Yeah, we didn't go up that hill, I know that much. I think we did. Basically, over there is, over here is brain, and we may have been on that hill. I don't know. As the tide has gone yeah, out. Right the top right yeah. <laughs> I feel it in my legs. Do you feel it in your toes? No. I feel it in my fingers either. Oh, the donkey's around. Yeah, that's uh, I think they're letting people on. Yeah, it says it will stop regularly. She stares longingly, in thought, as if to say, it's not sunny. I was thinking, hurry up, blue sky and break through, look. Longingly, as she stares at the donkey, and she thinks, my god, your trailer must smell really strong. <laughs> I mean, the beach smells near them. Huh? The beach smells near them, doesn't it? As the kid on the trampoline bounces up and down and thinks, I'm going to shit myself, but I don't care. The old person sitting nearby thinks, I have shit myself, and I don't care. And she looks at me with unlonging something in her eyes to think, what have I married? So, we've just finished with the wheel, which is over there. Going to try and attempt to walk to the sea, well, sea line, wherever that is. However, I don't have any wellies, and up to this point, I think this has got to be what, at least 500 meters from here, roughly. So it must go out of 4,000 meters or more, but all this bit is sinking sand. If you have wellies in that wall, those shoes on, then that'd be different, but I don't. So, yeah, I'm not going to. But it was a nice try though. one of these talking telescopes and a little bit more filled in. So for instance, uh, was it Burnberg Pier, that really creepy one over in the corner, it was open from this picture. This is open in 1867. It would have been the first stop for visitors arriving by ferry. Amusements and cafes were so popular that day trippers never left the island. After years of numerous storms, it was declared unsafe in 1994. 
The last use of the last use of the island was by the RNLI to launch lifeboats for sea rescue operations, of which they've now stopped because they, they can't go onto it. And then the island on the right, this night zone island, so it's converted into flats and apartments, but it used to be a theatre and a bath. Well, I said swimming pool rather than the bar. Yeah. So that bit I couldn't go into, that where the cafe is, and the kind of bit on the end, that sort of yellowy bit in the middle, that would have been the theatre and the bath would have been in the front of it. That makes sense. Um, now we were trying to work out how long this pier is. It turns out, by Google, it's 366 metres from start to end. Now I reckon it's going to be at least. 500, 600 absolute tops between that the tide goes in. Because right now, if I turn around, there is where the water line is. So it kind of matches up with that kind of corner. I don't know if you can see what I'm pointing at. So it's going to be at least 600 meters absolute tops because we've watched a couple and their kid walk out to the very end. Uh, which is what we were going to do, but we don't have any wellies. And then there's people who... And we don't want to take our shoes off. Yeah, we don't want to take our shoes off. It's nice weather, but it's not warm. Um, so we're going to go inside the and spend some money. And then purchase stuff about the tickets that we have. So we finished at the pier, and after what, four visits, something like that. Actually, playing games on it, we racked up about two thousand tokens. So we bought a load. Of, we got um, a load of bits for the girls. Nieces and a couple of bits for us, like sweets and whatnot. And as we were just walking back, we were just saying that it's weird. Western seems to be cold and horrible in the morning, and then it gets hot and nice in the afternoon. Whether that's normal or whether that's 2021. Yeah. But one thing we did just see is this lady here. I was thinking, oh god, she's being mocked, but I'm not. She's This is just a, an image just to end on. So the sea's out there, and all by about very close right, it'll be up to there, and also be underwater. Morning, it's Saturday the 14th, and it's about five past nine, and we are getting ready to leave. So, what can I say? Well, tide's going out, sort of. Last time I'm going to see this for a very, very, very potentially long time. So, what can I say? Well, last night I had a, finally had a decent night's sleep because we turned the heating off. And uh, because of that, it means I didn't wake up choking as if I was you know, dying because it was so dry in the flat. But that's because we set the heating to 
an unnecessary level of that. Oh, well, can't be helped. Uh, well, no, it can be helped. It's just we just need to fix sort it really. Um, so loading up all the car, taking the rubbish out as requested. Um, so this flat is actually very, very good. Location-wise, brilliant. Uh, I mean, like I said, and I've shown many times before, that's where everything. That's where all the shops and all the pier is. That takes about ten minutes to walk to. The only bit that is a pain sometimes is this hill, because it doesn't look it, but it can be quite steep. But there is a cat weir along there. So behind this building, there's one just behind that. And this is Grey Cat who wears a bow tie, who we've nicknamed the Doctor. So, yeah. Um, what else? So we're going to go from here to, um, what's it called? The Supermare. Let's go and get breakfast. It's a hungry horse, and I've been wanting to try one for since I saw it on Man vs. Food, as I have said. Um, okay, there it is. Yeah, so we're going to go there. And then go home. But because obviously we've the nice little pieces, because obviously we've got a washing machine up here, we've been able to put most pretty much all except one bag's worth of stuff in the wash. So that saves me a lot of hassle. Um like I said, there is some equipment up here, but I've just realised we've never even seen it. But hey ho, the flat is really, really nice size. I mean this front room on its own is massive. Um, the only quibs I have are minor things, like as I probably have said. So, for instance, uh, the pots and pans just need replacing because they're old and they're like, very, very burnt and bond. So, it's not conducting the heat underneath properly. Um, the hose for the shower just needs to be a bit shorter or get a different head because. It's, got, it's not a power shower, so it's got so long to go, it's losing a lot of it in the travel. And put instructions on how to use the oven. Because I couldn't get to work full time, we were here. Um, so that's really about it. So the next time you'll see us, we'll be in um, the supermare, and I'll be showing you the sausageness. That sounded, that sounded weird. So, as it turns out, we're in a hungry horse, and my plan was to go and get this, which is called the sausage mess. It's a one metre long sandwich, and they don't have any. So, I'm having to go for a standard one, which is really frustrating, which means I've to try and figure out another way around it at some point. But, hey ho, it is what it is. I'm not going to work. This is even breakfast for four hours. I understand if it was like, you know, half ten or something, so. but this is, yeah, ten, uh, eight or twelve for that, and it's only two hours in, and they've not had any all the way down. So, yeah, um, not really sure what to do about that one. Next stop, I guess, is either at a service station or home. We shall see.